Yes. Okay. So, all right. So we'll begin. Okay. We're gathered to celebrate this precious sacrament to bring our baby child into the Christian family. Gather here the family and uh, everyone who is participating with us uh, virtually. We're happy to have you all with us. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Family gathered. Um, what name do you give your child? Elijah Michelle Nemi. Elijah Michelle Nemi. What do you ask of God's church for Eliza? To have her baptized. Right. You have asked to have your child baptized. In doing so, you have certain the responsibility of training her in the practice of the faith. It will be your duty to bring her up to keep God's commandments, as Christ taught us, by loving God and our neighbor. Do you clearly understand what you are undertaking? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to help the parents, your parents now, of this child in their duty as Christian parents? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Eliza, the Christian community welcomes you with great joy. In his name, I claim you for Christ our Savior by the sign of his cross. And now trace the cross on your forehead and invite your parents and godparents to do the same. Take a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. He came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God. For no one can do these signs that you are doing unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born from a bull, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man who wants to grow be born again? Surely he cannot re enter his mother's womb and be born again, can he? Jesus answered, Amen, amen. I say to you, unless one is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of the flesh is flesh. What is born of the spirit is spirit. The gospel of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. So we have uh, reminded ourselves the importance of baptism. That's why Jesus said, unless one is born of water and spirit, you cannot see the kingdom of God. And so we try to pay heed to that. My dear brothers and sisters, let us ask our Lord Jesus Christ to look lovingly on this child who is to be baptized, on her parents and godparents and all the baptized. By the mystery of your death and resurrection, bet this child in life, give her the new life of baptism, and welcome her into your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Through baptism and confirmation, make her your faithful follower and a witness to your gospel. Lord, hear our prayer. Leave her by a holy life to the joys of God's kingdom. Lord, hear our prayer. May the lives of her parents and godparents examples of faith to inspire this child. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Keep her family always in your love. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Renew the grace of our baptism in each one of us. Lord, 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 Lord. Lord. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for pray us. For us. Saint John the Baptist, pray, pray for us. us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Peter and Saint Paul. Pray for us. All holy marriage and women. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Pray of exalted men and anointing. Almighty and ever living God, who sent your only Son into the world to cast out the power of Satan, the spirit of evil, to rescue man from the kingdom of darkness and bring him into the splendor of your kingdom of light. We pray for this child, 
Set her free from a regional sin. Make her a temple of your glory and send your Holy Spirit to dwell with her. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We anoint you now with the oil of salvation in the name of Christ our Savior. May he strengthen you with his power who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. I will anoint her with the oil of freedom. <laughs> May you have strength in the power of Christ our Savior who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So we come closer to the word of now. My dear brothers and sisters, we now ask God to give this child new life in abundance through water and the Holy Spirit. Father, you give us grace through sacramental signs which tell us of the wonders of your unseen power. In baptism, we use your gift of water, which you have made a rich symbol of the grace you give us in this sacrament. At the very dawn of creation, your spirit breathed on the waters, making them the wellspring of our holiness. The waters of the great fraud, you made a sign of the waters of baptism that make an end of sin and a new beginning of goodness. Through the waters of the Red Sea, you led Israel out of slavery to be an image of God's holy people, set free from sin by baptism. In the waters of Jordan, you, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Your son viewed that water and blood should flow from his side as he hung upon the cross. After his resurrection, he told his disciples, Go out and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, look now with love upon your church and unseal for her the fountain of baptism. By the power of the Spirit, give to the water of this font the grace of your Son. You created man in your own likeness, cleanse him from sin in a new birth to innocence by water and the Spirit. We ask you, Father, with your Son, to send the Holy Spirit upon the water of this font. May all who are buried with Christ in the death of baptism rise also with him to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Their parents and godparents, you have come here to present this child for baptism by water and the Holy Spirit. She is to receive the gift of new life from God who is love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring her up in the practice of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives her is kept safe from the poison of sin to grow always stronger in her heart. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, renew now the vows of your own baptism. Reject sin, profess your faith in Christ Jesus. This is the faith of the church. This is the faith in which this child is about to be baptized. So I ask you, do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? I do. Do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? I do. Do you reject Satan, power of sin, and prince of darkness? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of sins, the forgiveness of sins, 
the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. So finally, is it your view that Eliza should be baptized in the faith of the church which we have all professed with you? Yes. yes. I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. God the Father, our Lord Jesus Christ has freed you from sin, giving you a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and welcomed you into his holy people. He now anoints you with the prism of salvation, as Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king. So may you live always as a member of his body, sharing everlasting life. Wiser, you have become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. Amen. See, in this word, German, the outward sign of your Christian dignity. Your family and friends to help you by word and example bring that dignity of sin into the lasting life of God. Amen. Your ears. 
This child has been reborn in baptism. She is not called a child of God, but so indeed she is. In confirmation, she will receive the fullness of God's spirit. In holy communion, she will share the banquet of Christ's sacrifice, calling God her Father in the midst of the church. In the name of this child, in the spirit of our common sonship, let us pray together in the words our Lord Jesus taught us. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God the Father, through His Son, the Virgin Mary's child, has brought joy to all Christian mothers. They see the hope of eternal life shine on their children. May He bless the mother of this child. She now thanks God for the gift of her child. May she be one with, him, with her in thanking Him forever and ever. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. God is the giver of all life, human and divine. May He bless the father of this child. He and his wife will be the first teachers of the child in the way of faith. May they be also the best of teachers, bearing witness to the faith by what they say and do. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. By God's gift, through water and the Holy Spirit, we are reborn to everlasting life. In His goodness, may He continue to pour out His blessings upon these sons and daughters of His. May He make them always, wherever they may be, faithful members of His holy people. May He send His peace upon all who are gathered here. Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God, the Father, bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you all. So with you, sir. Thank you. Bless on the sacramentals. May Almighty God bless this sacramental. Make it holy. Make it a source of constant grace and protection. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father. Congratulations, Eliza. And that concludes our sacrament. So you can come forward here so the picture can get our person. Thank you. Thank you very much. And thanks for joining us, everybody. <laughs>